Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the rectangular marquee tool and the elliptical marquee tool. Now, these tools are used to create uh, quick, uh, regular selections. Okay, so uh, you'll find them here below the uh, move tool, and uh, it looks like a rectangle or square, and then uh, an elliptical. You can also do a single row or single column of pixels. These are uh, mainly used when you're building a website and you just want to, well, anyway, it's a little more complicated. Anyway, so these two here uh, are what we're going to be playing with today. Now, the first one here, as I put it into rectangular mode and I click and drag out, okay, or uh, drag along the tablet, I can create a selection, okay. Once I create it, I can move it if uh, I am inside it and I'm still on that tool so you see how that works I can move the selection around I can add to the selection by using one of these or I can hold down shift to add shift to add I can use alt to subtract and you see I can create a selection I can um, also switch between it and other selection tools uh, like the elliptical marquee and do the same thing so I can hold down shift, add to selection, hold down shift and add to selection. So, oh, that's already added, so I have to alt to subtract that part. And you can see how I can create selections. I'm going to deselect for the moment. All right, now, uh, with these tools, because they're regular shapes, okay, they have uh, some styles involved. Okay, a normal situation is uh, one where it'll draw out any rectangle you want. Once you hold down uh, shift, okay, it's going to constrain proportions. You can see my cursor's way out here, actually off the page, but it's not actually getting any wider because I'm holding down shift. What shift does is it automatically changes the selection's style from normal to a fixed ratio. And it's defaulting to one to one. So if you wanted to create an absolute square, you can put it in fixed ratio or hold down shift. So I hold down shift and you see, or put it back in normal here, hold down shift and it will turn into a square. Another thing you can do is if you're on a fixed ratio, you can make it an app, you know, a other certain size. Let's, let's say, um, six by four and then it'll be that well that could also be a three by two and it would do the same thing okay so you can create a ratio there if you'd like and we'll hold down one again now let's say I can do it as a three by two okay and I go to draw all right if I hold down shift nothing happens okay it's like a, that that feature's gone when you're in here uh, let's see let's go back to normal and see what happens when I do a shift yeah so shift doesn't actually correspond to fixed ratio what it does is it corresponds to one to one every time so when you're in normal mode you can hold on shift and it'll create a square otherwise if you want to get some special proportion for your rectangle you'll have to put it in under the fixed ratio. Now you can also put it under fixed size. So if you want it to be exactly 64 pixels, then there you go. That is a 64 pixel wide square. Okay. And of course you can increase that size to whatever you need it to be. So if you needed the exact size pixels, that's how you do it. The same thing happens with the elliptical marquee. Uh, when the elliptical marquee goes, it normally draws from the top left corner. Okay, if you hold down shift, it'll keep a circle. So if you ever want to create a, an exact circle, it'll um, hold down shift and it does the same thing. Uh, if while you're drawing, right, you want to hold down alt, it'll start drawing out from the center. So you can see that's drawing out from the center. Okay, um, so that's an, another interesting thing. You can hold down alt and go out from the center. If you are already having a drawing and then you want to, I don't know, maybe go out from center on it right now. So here, I'll do that again. I'm going to make a circle and I'll make a circle selected out of the middle of it. I'm going to hold down alt 
and I'm going to start in the center, start drawing, and then I'm going to hold down Alt again and hold down Shift. So it's kind of like in that order, you know. And now I'm, you can see I'm drawing out from the middle to create uh, an area where it's not selected. So it's a donut. So what would this look like if I were to copy it? I'd Control C and Control V for a second. So you can copy and paste. That's what Control C and Control V does. And you can see that's what I created. All right. I'm going to step backward, or Control Z. Um, let's see, uh, deselect. Let's go and check out this feather command. What does that do? The feather command. All right. Well, when you feather, all right, what it does is it creates a fuzzy edge for your selection. Okay. That last time I selected, it created a very crisp edge at the edge where the um, uh, marching ants went around. Well. If I feather it, say 50 picks, all right, and I go and I select something, and we'll copy and paste. I want you to see what it looks like. I uh, turned off the background layer after I copied and pasted, and you can see that there is a fuzzy edge. Okay, so the whole idea of having a feather is to make something have a fuzzy edge. It's very useful. You can do it before you draw, okay, before you create your selection. All right, let me step backward a couple times. All right, you can do it before or you can do it after. So, like, let's say I create another selection, same area, and I've feathered. I can go up to this menu called Select here, and there's all these things to help me with my selection. And one of them is Modify and Feather. So, now I can feather it. Do the same thing, 50 pixels. And we'll copy and paste, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So there, it's the exact same scenario. Okay, so you can feather before you, you draw or after you draw, um, or after you create your selection. Uh, let's look at some more things in that uh, selection menu. Inside the selection menu, you have a whole bunch of things. You can modify. Um, and create a border. What this is going to do is create a a uh, selection of just the ring in our case. So it'll just do around the edge. So let's do uh, let's do a 20 pixel border, and you'll see how it kind of did like that. All right. Now uh, the way this is going to select, I want you to see how it looks. Control C, Control V. And you see it's actually got somewhat of a fuzzy edge. Let's zoom in on that. See, it's got a fuzzy edge. Okay, so that's one of the things about it. It will do a fuzzy edge when you use that particular command. I'm gonna step backward a couple steps. Uh, let's see. Oops. There we go. All right. So let's do a, another selection here, and uh, this one here. Let's do modify. Let's do smooth well smooth probably won't do anything on ours because well because it's a circle let's change selection tools for a moment and show you how that works um, so let's say I have a you know a selection okay that's pretty wobbly um, and I go over to modify and I say smooth and let's smooth it by 12 and it's just gonna smooth that out make it a little uh, eat more even remember this is a very large image so it doesn't show much, but you can smooth your selections using that. Let's um, deselect and let's return again. Okay, so back with a circle selected. Uh, let's try expand. Expand by 30. Yep, see, it got bigger. Uh, select, modify, contract. What do you think that's going to do? It's going to get smaller. So let's do 60. Make it smaller. Yep, got a lot smaller. So you have some modifications here under the modify. Let's check out what grow does. See that that really isn't what we want. It ends up doing a selection based on uh, the coloring. So we are not going to do that. I'm going to control Z on that. Let's do select um, and let's do a transform of the selection. This is very, very useful. When you go to transform selection, you have the ability to adjust things, to rotate them, to move them out of the way, to stretch them out and say, oh, you know what? That guy would be perfect. Yeah, like just like that. Let's see. Maybe get a shadow in there too. Let's see. 
Yeah, I'll get that just a little bigger. Okay. Yeah, that could be perfect. Okay. And when you uh, check this little box or hit enter, it'll uh, complete that transformation of the selection. So selections are very useful. The neat things about them is that you can modify them after the fact and do a lot of work with them. Please, with for this project, what I'd like you to do is to create some type of uh, collage of all the little uh, crabs parts. Okay, let me show you how I would go about doing that. Uh, all right, so I'm going to uh, deselect here, and I'm just going to draw some here. I'm going to hold down Shift and add in a couple things. Um, I'm going to hold down Alt as and remove some parts out. Uh, let's see, Alt, Alt, okay. And we will copy and paste those so I can see them. And what I want to do is I want to see something like this on its own layer. Now, I don't want you to stop with what I've done here. Remember, return to your background layer and select some more things. I want you to have some things that are feathered. So I'd want to see uh, ones that are feathered like if I were to have this selection here, maybe add some parts to it, maybe take away some parts. I want you to just practice using these tools and maybe do some feathering on them. I don't care if you do them before the fact or after the fact. But I want to see some that are feathered. Um, and we'll copy those in to where when I look at your picture, I want to see these different types of sections. Okay, just get good at using the rectangular and elliptical marquees. And that's it for this video.